What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, I just discovered this last night and I thought I'd show it to you guys. So, without further ado, let's turn on the ignition. I'm gonna roll down the windows because it's a nice day out today. Let some of that hot air out. Okay, start her up. Okay, we're in neutral. Now, here's what I wanna show you. Turn on the lights. Static electricity shock, of course. Don't know if you guys can see it, but this LED is starting to flicker and it looks like the bulbs on top have stopped working altogether. On this side, the problem is less prominent, but there is still some flickering going on. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've ordered replacement LED fog lights. So they should be here in a few days. I can change them out myself. These fog lights are three years old, so problems are expected. But then again, I'm kind of disappointed because LEDs should theoretically last forever. And these just aren't, well, I should say this. It just isn't the case for these LEDs. I, get, I guess you get what you pay for and things stop working eventually, but these should be good for 50,000 hours of operating time. But yeah, the, the right one's definitely more stable than the left. The left one is mincemeat. So, yep, gonna be changing those out myself once the new bulbs get here. I also ordered a vehicle speed monitored by GPS sticker to put on my back bumper, cause why not? I mean, it, it kind of is true because my dash cam, which also has problems, picks up speed. So as you can see, that's where the dash cam would go. Now, more on that in another video, but that's pretty much it. The fog lights on this car need to be replaced. No big deal. I've already ordered replacements and I can do it myself because, hey, I'm the one who installed the LEDs. So, yep, I can do it once. If I can do it once, I can do it again. So, that's pretty much it. Catch you on the next one.